Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. Peter Obi of Labour Party is enjoying ever increasing boost every single day. Is either you're hearing that uh, this this person is saying something good about him, or a group of people are walking without even his knowledge? This, his supporters are not people who have been won by him, but are actually people who make up their mind to join the Peter Obi's movement. And already um, there is a lot of fears in the camps of the other presidential aspirant because they're really shocked that this guy is not giving money, but people are just joining his bang wagon and uh, it seems he is getting it free of charge. But this time around, it's coming from presidential aspirants of uh, the registered political parties, the presidential aspirants and their supporters have decided to take a turn to queue up behind Pitaubi. Let's get the full details of the news right away. And according to the news, support base of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Pitaubi, got a boost as the Coalition for Good Governance, composed of the registered political parties, have thrown their weight behind his candidature ahead of the 2023 elections. The 15 former presidential candidates of the deregistered political parties and their supporters have queued behind the presidential candidature of Peter B, the Labour Party, in which they describe as most credible by their assessment. This was contained in a statement jointly signed by the National Chairman Coalition for Good Governance, Engineer O.K. Chikwendu and its secretary, Don Antony Hamatan, and made available today. The coalition said it has assessed the 15 presidential candidates and have come to the conclusion that her support was better for the Labour Party's presidential and vice presidential candidates. The statement read in part, it said the CGG on the 28th of July held a meeting in Abuja. It was well attended by the National Party chairman and the former presidential candidates of the deregistered political parties. They took a very critical appraisal of all the current presidential contenders for the 2023 presidential elections and their vice presidential candidates. The House unanimously voted Mr. Peter Bistro Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed as the most credible among the candidates and as such resolved to support and work with them in their sub and campaign group on the platform of Labour Party. We therefore agreed to rebrand our offices nationwide, oh my God, as campaign support offices for the project. Our structures all over the 36 states and 774 local government areas are henceforth required to support the Peter Obi Stroke Dati Baba Ahmed ticket under Labour Party. The coalition in the statement said its support for the Labour Party was because it believed that the Labour Party candidates are prepared to change the narrative from the bad experience Nigerians have been exposed to in recent times. The statement say Nigerians have had enough of the disunity, eminent disintegration, lingering as soon strike, terrorist threat, killings, kidnapping, hunger, unemployment, unbearable petrol costs, scarcity, high electricity tariff, its epileptic situation, rising food costs, and the continued lack of resolve for the establishment to put an end to these crises. Therefore, we are leaders in mainstream politics in Nigeria, wish to make clear that only an efficient, effective, and credible candidate of rene renowned character can resolve most of Nigeria's lingering problem, and we therefore urge Nigerians to heed to our advice and support our goal of returning Nigeria as a true giant of Africa and the production hub of West Africa. Those were the words of the coalition um, 
uh, uh, collision movement. And, and, and this is really interesting. First of all, um, we have to get to understand that uh, Peter Obi political party is far beyond, or let me say Peter Obi as a presidential aspirant is not just on that Labour Party, but it is um, a movement accepted by Nigerians. I would say globally, not just nationally, because this whole thing has gone beyond the shores of Nigeria. Uh, you, you, you watch. I watch several times in the United States of America, in London, in France, and other countries of the world how people are saying we support Peter Obi. Some have even promised to come down to the country to, you know, give him their vote. That's a pointer to the fact that this man is the. Um, I would say the Moses of Nigeria, the person who is going to take us from the current Egyptian experience of the children of Israel to the promised land. You understand? And right now, looking at the situation of things in the country, we, we, we've come to a point where everybody realizes and believes that uh, APC has nothing to offer the country. Now, imagine the news that is making the rounds, how President Muhammad Buhari gave 1.14 billion naira to buy cars for Nigerians, while Nigerians are here who are suffering, and you are patronizing another country who, does, who, who, who has been of no importance to Nigeria, you are helping them out while we are battling the issue of resolving our Sioux strike. We are battling so many other issues. I'm, I'm telling you, this is out of place and is totally unacceptable. And, and it's so shocking that some other persons are coming up to say some um, things about that action taken by the president, that it's okay, the president have that prerogative right to do whatever he wants to do, you know, for the people for the people of Niger. And you're just wondering, how about Nigerians? Is that money not enough to procure uh, or to change the issue, the financial issues of our own um, university lecturers? That money we are talking about, uh, can't it be used to boost our security? It is a well-known fact that charity begins at home. If you want to show love, first of all, start where you are from. We have myriads of Nigerians who are suffering day after day. And you are buying um, cars for a strange land. I mean, it's amazing. When I heard this thing and I saw people still talking in favor of it, I was like, wow, Nigeria. It's a country that needs a reset, mental reset. And it's a country that uh, we need to start from the next administration to correct. And that's why emphasis is still on the issue of PVC. Nigerians, even if you don't have PVC, please, uh, you may not have PVC or maybe the timeline is not enough for you to get your PVC. Ensure that you are going to work as Labour Party agent on that fateful day, February 2023, when elections will be holding where we will be monitoring per second, per time, you know, everything about the counting and all of that. Because right now, Nigeria needs to get out of this situation as soon as possible. Because if we refuse to do the needful, Nigeria is going to sink so far. I think that's the reason why this level of support are coming in. He is not just, you know, the, 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 the best. He is the most effective, the most competent, and one who has, you know, each on his side to fix the country. We like to leave it there. Go to our company.